So within your lighting application, you may have some doors and drawers that you'll want to control independent of other lights. One great solution for this is a family of switches that are called reed switches, R-E-E-D. Now the way these work is when they are in close proximity to a rare earth magnet, they turn off. When you move the magnet away, they turn on. So think of the applications for this. In this case, we're showing it being used on a, a, a cabinet that has two doors in front of a single opening. By using it together with a distributor, we can connect the reed switch into the switch port and bring the switch up near where we're going to install the magnet on or in the door. Now, how am I going to attach this? The options are wide open. You could uh, bore the back of the face frame if it is a face frame cabinet. Um, it can be surface mounted. In fact, one of the great solutions for surface mounting is we have a family of plastic extrusions with a peel and stick backing that can be used to hold the reed switch in place. So with that extrusion mounted right behind the magnet, I can snap the switch into place. And when I open this door, the magnet that is installed in the back of the door will move away from the switch turning the distributor on. Let's add another one over to this side. So in this application, we have got two lights, one on either side of the cabinet, that are plugged into our six-way distributor. Now this distributor is very interesting. It has several different modes. In this particular mode, any of the switches we've plugged in will control all of the lights that we've plugged into these ports. It'll do more than that. Talk to your Hayfala rep about this six-way distributor with the three switch ports. Now when it comes to mounting the magnet on the door or the drawer, you have a wide variety of options here. In fact, we're showing it with the magnet recessed in the back of the door where it could be covered with a cover cap. And over here we're showing it mounted through the top of the door in a slot mortise, something that you could easily do with a domino tool. So let's bring some power up to our distributor and we'll see how these work. Open this door, the interior lights. Open this door, the interior lights. But with the doors closed, the lights are off. And the real beauty of the reed switch is there's no contact, therefore there's nothing to wear out. This six-way distributor with the three switch ports is a great solution when you have multiple lights that you want to control with any number of magnets. But you may also have a single opening that is controlling a single light. Well, we have an even simpler system for that. So with the inline reed switch, what we're doing is we're breaking the circuit between the power supply and the luminary. Keep in mind, you may, might be working with a 12 or 24 volt system, and with the inline switch, it's important to select a switch that matches your voltage. If I were to plug this light directly into the distributor, you can see that it's on. So now we're going to introduce the switch in between the power supply and our luminary. So now when the magnet gets close to the switch, the luminary will be off. As we pull the magnet away, the luminary will light. So a drawer is a perfect example of where the inline switch makes sense. We've got a light mounted underneath this rail. We've channeled the wire for that light in one of these surface mounted profiles. From the back of the drawer, you can see that we've installed a magnet and we've got our reed switch attached again to one of those profiles. So all we've done is we've interrupted the power that's coming from the distributor to that light. If I were to disconnect the reed switch, there's the lead wire from my light. The moment I plug this into the distributor, 
the lights are on. So all we're doing is we're breaking that circuit between the light and the distributor. So we take our light, plug it into one end of that reed switch, take the other end, plug it into our power supply. And now, as we open the drawer, the lights will come on. Remember, because we're not coming directly into the end of the reed switch, you might need to rotate that reed switch in that mount to find the exact sweet spot. And as always, for more information, contact your Hayfield rep.